Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. So this is my 7x12 horizontal bandsaw, and one of the things it has is this horizontal downfeed cylinder. So normally this would be connected up to the uh, saw part of it. You know, it's a hydraulic cylinder, so this valve <coughs> would normally be in the top. I don't know if you can see there, there's a little cone on the bottom. As you screw that in, the valve closes down. There's a little tiny hole down there. Go take a look at that. So you can see that's where the the little flow control valve goes right there. So that, that blocks off that passage and what that does is this controls the flow of the hydraulic oil in this cylinder and then you have this shutoff valve, so that shuts off the flow. That allows the flow, and then this valve regulates how fast this compresses. So normally this cylinder is full of oil. There's oil in the bottom down here, and there's oil up here on the top. And then there's a piston with an O-ring in here. As you push this rod down, it pumps oil from down here comes up through the valve and then goes back into the cylinder on the top. And then that valve controls how fast this will compress here. But if you look there, that's air. In fact, I don't think there's any oil in this cylinder. And I guess over the years all this oil has leaked out. So anyway, I was looking online, found some uh, information on a different model saw that actually had a valve like this, although it was the saw had the valve coming in from the side, and then there was a bleeder screw here on the end. And what you need to do is fill this thing up with oil, and then you have to bleed out enough oil so that there's room in the system for the for everything to move all the way because so the trick is you've got to completely fill it so you fill the bottom with oil down here fill this cylinder all the way up then you need to put this thing back in but the I think what I have to do on this one there's no separate bleeder screw but an old trick I learned was you can use the threads on the valve if you tighten those threads all the way they seal up tight and if you back them out a ways, the extra oil and air is going to leak out past the threads. So you basically use the threads on your valve as the bleed screw. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try filling oil in through here. I can't get the bottom bolt off down here. I'm afraid it's probably rusted into the cast iron down here. And I really would rather not break that off, so I'm thinking I can uh, pour some oil in through here. Okay, so I didn't have too much luck filling oil in here. I could get a couple of drops in, and then the air bubbles would try to come back up. And you were trying to run through all of this tubing here. So what I did was I removed the tubing off the bottom of the valve, and then I pulled this fitting out here, the flare fitting, Okay, I found a little squeeze bottle here that I can fit down in there. So I think I'm going to keep going with that. It seems like it's almost empty, so it may take quite a bit of oil. I don't know if I have enough there. I had a quart bottle, but I've used quite a bit of it over the years. So we'll see how much this takes, and hopefully I can get it filled up with what I have here. Otherwise, I'll have to pick up some more. Okay, it took about two and a half bottles. I think these are around two ounce, maybe 60 milliliter bottles. So about two and a half of those. And I've got the oil level right there. So I figure that's a good time to put this back in. I'm going to get that screwed back on and then I can screw the hose or the hard piping back on. So I'll come back when I get that finished. Okay, I've got the uh, hard lines back on. I've got this valve open right now, and I've got this opened all the way. I just want to see if I'm going to be able to pump this at all. Yeah, because that should be stopped. 
Yeah, because I'm probably over full, so let's try cracking this valve open a little bit. See if we can get some of the air out of there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that, that might do it. Yeah, we've let a little bit of oil out there. It's just leaking out right around the base of the valve there. But I think I've got all the air out. You can hear right at the end there's a little bit of gurgling. Okay, I think that does the trick. Open up the valve a little bit. It'll come down. I can speed it up, slow it down, and then I can close and stop. Got it pretty slow now. See if it goes all the way down without dropping at the end. I say that is a success. That was easier than I thought. So just flip this cylinder over, fill up the bottom of the uh, cylinder housing with the rod pulled all the way out until it comes up to the top. Then you just have to crack this loose a couple of turns and let any trapped air get out as you cycle it in and out a few times. And I think that is working. See, I need about four or five ounces of oil, and it's good to go. I just couldn't figure out how to uh, bleed the air out of the system because there's no separate bleed valve. But the trick is, you just crack the valve open a couple of turns. You don't want it completely open, but just enough to let the air and oil, any excess oil, come out. And then once you're done, you just get your wrench down here and snug that back up. 14 millimeter wrench for everything. All the fittings are 14 millimeter or 9 16 So wow, you just need one wrench and a little squirt bottle of hydraulic oil. And you can get your downfeed cylinder working again. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that repair. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe with the link down in the lower right corner. And I'll put some of my other bandsaw repair videos over here on the left side you might be interested in. And as always, thanks for watching.